Welcome back. Today we are going to look at another Oriola set. This one is Isabella. And like Sazahe, this one was loaned to me as well. So many, many thanks to John for lending me these, both of these amazing sets. And this is what it looks like up close. I think uh, lots of people have probably seen this one. This one's actually been around since about 2021. It's actually been around quite a while. Kind of withstood the test of time, and I think it deserves everything, you know, all the praise that has happened over the past few years. I absolutely think um, all of that was true, and that's why this is going to be kind of a quicker one. I think most, if not all, the people I know who have heard this set, who have owned this set, have always said it's a top-tier one dynamic driver. I absolutely agree with it. It's, it's just a top-tier one dynamic driver done very, very well. Has a little bit of Oriolas flavor to it, which we'll talk about briefly, but you know, it's just a top set. The signature isn't all that far from other sets that you may know. And and all those sets kind of cover the whole price range, right? Starting with the original Aria in blue, Alina, Oxygen is in yellow, Isabella is actually in the red. So even if you just follow the Harmon line, you know, all these sets tend to hover right in the sub base, the lower sub base tend to hover around the Harman line. And then these are all essentially bass-boosted Harman mid-bass style. And then they tend to always pretty much hug the line, the Harman line right there through pin again. So, you know, two through th four or five-ish, they tend to hug the line, dip out so you don't get those bright spots. And then they all kind of do different flavors through upper treble. And Isabella actually has its own flavor through upper treble. But... Generally, if you've heard any of these sets, you sort of know the basics of what it sounds like. Isabella, of course, has even more mid-bass. I think that's why people gravitated towards this set for a little bit. And plus, it has this Oriolus driver. It's a very high-quality driver, a little bit more mid-bass. It can handle it. The driver is very capable. So just like Sazai, I mean, they put a little bit more bass into it because the driver can handle it, and it sounds great. It's still nice and tight. No sloppiness there with the driver. And then they gave you a little more treble over here just to balance these two out so similar but they did add a little bit of their own flavor to it but if you've heard any of these sets you sort of know um not you're they're not all that far from uh, isabella so should you have fear of missing out if you don't own isabella i think there are two types of people here and i think yes if you are the type who has to have the best in class sets the best that fits within your budget i think isabella hits that at about six hundred dollars and no, if you are the type who likes to, you know, have 80% of the performance, but at 30% of the cost, I think you're kind of okay without it. You know, if you look at the other sets, Isabella is $600. And if you start looking at one third down, you know, Oxygen, Olina, you know, there's different ranges of how comfortable you are with your budgets and how close you want to get to a top tier set. And I think some people are more than fine with Aria or Alina or Oxygen without spending all their money on Isabella. But there will always be a class of people who want the best of the best. And um, yeah, Isabella is kind of right up there with some of the great One Dynamic drivers. So like Sazlahi, I think Aureolus does have a way of bringing out the vocals on this one over the bass, just like they did on Sazlahi. I think this one, very, very similar in the way it works. Their bass shells are always different in the ear. And I think on these two sets, very much the same. And I think people are drawn to the the more mid-bass, but it doesn't sound sloppy or as, you know, going to bleed into the mids as it looks. I think they have some magic there. I'm not sure what their magic is on the driver. Maybe it's just driver selection, but I think their tuning and driver choice actually ends up working in their favor. And I think um, they tend to sound just a little bit different in here. And I don't really think there's another one dynamic driver in that style that executes that much bass with the clarity that you get in the vocals. Twilight does have less bass, but um, yeah, I think in this style, I think it is definitely a top tier in what it does there. So which one would I choose, Isabella or SZA? I think I think SZA with the, the tribrid, the dynamic driver, the planer, and the balanced armature, I thought that was a very, very unique set with a unique sound. This one is very much a more consistent, um, generally appealing tuning. There's no real surprises with this one. Like I said, it's really close to the tuning of other sets. Sizlahe was definitely one that was a little bit more surprising. You were definitely into more of a seeking exercise, trying to find tracks that hit some sets, some tracks that didn't hit at all. But 
when it hit, I think I did like it a little bit more than Iza, and I think it's just because kind of get at the end of the year, I've heard a lot of one dynamic drivers, and I'm not burnt out on one dynamic drivers, but I'm uh, quickly approaching that point. So I think Isabella does have a time problem. I think it, time is cruel, and I think Isabella came out about 2021. It was, you know, a really top set for, you know, almost three years. And that's pretty amazing, and it's kind of a testament to how good it really is. But I do think as we go forward, I think the gap is sufficiently closing to the sets that are a little lower in price. That gap kind of shrinks, and this one will definitely take on kind of a more value set when you get it at a used price or a slight discount. I think people will continue to pick it up, but paying full retail, I think I'm kind of in the 80-30 the gang, and I think I would... I'm probably okay without without owning Isabella, but I 100% understand the people who do. And those of you who do own it, I can say you can say welcome to 2021. Isabella certainly did this three years ago, and certainly outperformed sets all the way up until now, going into 2024. And again, that's pretty an amazing feat. So, congrats to all you folks who picked this one up uh, over the years. So. That is what I got on Isabella, so thank you guys again for tuning in, and I will see you next time.